A re-evaluation of French nuclear test data in the Pacific claims France concealed the full impact of radioactive contamination. The findings could open the door to thousands of new compensation claims. For 30 years, until 1996, France tested nuclear weapons in French Polynesia, which at the time caused a major diplomatic rift with both Australia and the Pacific nations. <laughs> In 1966, the first of what would be almost 200 French atmospheric and underground nuclear tests in the Pacific Territory of French Polynesia, carried out over three decades. France has long contested nuclear contamination and compensation claims, but new research indicates the nuclear fallout was much worse than previously admitted. The retombées radioactives touch l'île, notamment par des pluies. Et l'armée n'a rien fait pour prévenir, alerter ou protéger les populations civiles qui étaient sur l'île. Known as the Muaroa Files, after one of the atolls where the bombs were detonated, 2,000 recently declassified French Ministry of Defence documents, photos, maps and data paint a new picture of the nuclear fallout. L'État généreusement offre un bâtiment pour édifier un centre de mémoire et qu'on apprend quelques semaines après que ce bâtiment est amianté. The modeling of three atmospheric tests found the French miscalculated the size, height and direction of the radioactive clouds, the populated islands were contaminated during the tests and that the entire population of more than 100,000 were affected by the radioactive fallout. Reanalyzed data indicates human radiation exposure levels were between two and ten times higher than the French acknowledged. No surprise to the co-founder of the Nobel Peace Prize winning international campaign to abolish nuclear weapons. So I think it really highlights the le extraordinary levels of secrecy and cover-up that persist decades later. Um, you know, there's a lot with that we don't know, but we sure as hell need to know what, what information is there. Last month, France's National Health Research Institute released a report saying the cause and effect of nuclear tests could not be proven conclusively. In 2010, France established a compensation fund for those whose health suffered as a result of the tests. En 2014, le ministère des Armées a également commandé une enquête à l'Inserm pour faire le bilan des connaissances scientifiques internationales sur les compétences et pardon sur les conséquences sanitaires des essais nucléaires. Ce travail So far, around 450 people have received compensation, mostly French military personnel. Only about 60 islanders have received a payout. Stéphane Armbruster, SBS World News.